Hey, what's going on fellas Ross here and welcome to one of the most requested videos on my channel which is how to create Facebook ads and not just any ads but highly profitable Facebook ads that are actually making you money. So this is going to be a complete Facebook ads tutorial in which I'm going to be showing you step by step how to invest one dollar in and get two dollars out of Facebook and as long as you keep this equation as it is you're going to be successful extremely extremely successful also what I'm gonna be sharing with you is one of my exact ads that I created that generated 4,000 likes and 20,000 dollars in revenue in the first seven days of creating it no strings attached this is going to be a completely free giveaway this is a free video I'm not gonna ask you to buy my course or sign up for my training or any of that BS the only requirement though is to hit the like button and as soon as we reach 6,000 likes I'm going to release the actual ad down in the description below so maybe you can take it as a reference, study it or even copy it, I don't mind. But now let's go back to see what we're going to be covering in today's training or maybe shall I say not covering because before I shoot the video I did my due diligence, I did a lot of research of what other people are teaching on YouTube so I could improve it and I saw that a lot of folks out there are teaching some stuff that are not actually handy when you're getting started. For example, lots of videos on YouTube are showing these fancy features Facebook has, such as the business suit, the creative hub, the audience inside, the collaboration center, etc. So these are shiny objects that you don't need in the beginning. So we're not going to cover any of that. The goal for today's training, like I said in the beginning, is to get you making money as soon as possible. For example, this screenshot is from one of my ad accounts and here I have spent $300 and I have generated almost $2,000 in revenue. Now, this is not fundamental for everyone. It is strongly dependent on two factors. First is your audience and secondly, actually the most important is your product or service. For example, if you're selling high ticket product or a luxury product or affiliate product, you have higher margins, meaning you're going to make a lot more money with much less ad spend. And on the other hand, if you're doing drop shipping or you're shipping products from China that they have very uh, thin margins, you're going to make a lot less money. Either way, in this training, I'm going to show you how to be profitable with either case, despite your profit margins. And this training is going to be perfect for people who are doing e-commerce, dropshipping, Shopify, you can get some golden nuggets out of it. Or people who are doing affiliate marketing, like myself, most of my campaigns on Facebook are about affiliate marketing. Also for folks who are doing lead generation. And actually, this is how I started back in the day with Facebook ads. I was doing lead gen for financial companies. I, ge I was generating leads for them. Overall, like I said, the goal for this video training is to teach you how to invest $1 and get two, five, and even $10 out of your Facebook marketing campaigns. So without further ado, let me share my screen and let's set some ads up, shall we? All right, so the first thing obviously you need to do is create your ad account and your business manager. So go over to business.facebook.com, hit enter, and here you have to create your business account. Now, because I already have account, I can't create one, but for you, it's going to ask you for your email and how the, and the business name. So choose a business name related to your service, to your product, or to your website. And you can use your personal email. I don't recommend that it's better to use a business email address, something like support at yourdomainname.com. After you have signed up for your business manager, this is what you're going to see. Now, in some cases, you're not going to see this. I don't know how Facebook works, but I've seen some ad accounts when I create a business manager, I see something different. I see like a different layout. So if you don't see that place right here, just go over to the menu here at the left top corner, click these dots. These are the business tools and click business settings. You can find it under manage business and here it says business settings. From here, you need to create your ad account, your advertising account. So click add account and click create a new ad account. Give this ad account a name. It, it can be the name of your website or your own name or the name of your business. If you have a registered business, like for example, I have an LLC company. So the name of my ad accounts, most of my ad accounts are the name of my businesses, choose a time zone and choose your currency and then click next. Okay, so after you have created your ad account, maybe you would not have any people in the ad account. So what you need to do is click add people, this button right here. And from this menu, choose the person you want to add and pretty much you should see just yourself. For example, Ross Minchev right here. So I can just click myself 
and I want to add myself to manage campaigns and also manage the ad account right here. So this kind of switches these buttons and click assign. The next step is to create a fan page if you don't already have one. So you can do that under accounts, click pages right here. And from here you can just create or add, click the add button and click create a new page right here and choose the category your page falls under and just proceed with the name and just you're going to click next and your page will be created instantly. For example, I can say brand or product. Then I can say the name of the page, let's say workout, workout enthusiast, just like that. And then I'm, I can pick the category. So choose your category. I can say health and beauty, for example, right here. And then I can click create the page, but I'm not going to do that because I have many fan pages. So now we come to actually some of the important stuff. Now we're going to get into details. The next step, which is one of the most important steps is to create your Facebook pixel. And I'm going to show you why this is so important. So under data sources right here on the left side, click data sources and click pixels. So if you don't have any pixels, probably you would not have any click add a pixel. And right here you can name your pixel with the name of your brand or your website. So click, let's say website is workout or something like that. Uh, click next and your pixel will be created. The next step is to connect the asset and the asset will be your ad account. So you need to connect this pixel with your ad account. So click connect assets right here and then click add an asset. And once you click that, you should see your ad account right here. The one you just created. So just click the ad account and click add. But in this case, I have my account already added. So I'm going to click cancel. So now what we need to do, click open events manager right here at the top right corner. And now we need to install this pixel on our website. And why we need to do that? Well, Facebook is pretty, pretty smart. And by installing the pixel on our fan pages, uh, I mean, on our website, we're going to start feeding Facebook data with what people are landing on our website and what people are purchasing our products and our services. So Facebook can understand the type of the interest the people on our website have. So it can recommend us more people similar to the ones that we already have on our website. This is the beauty of Facebook and that's why Facebook is so powerful. And that's why Facebook is so lucrative for so many advertisers because they know exactly what you're doing. They know the people's interests. So for example, if we go to my Facebook, Facebook keeps track on everything. So for example, I'm here and I'm watching at this post from Carol Cox. This is a DJ techno DJ. Facebook knows if I stop, they know that I'm watching this post. Facebook sees when I hover over some part of the text, Facebook sees if I click something, they track everything. They track your device. They track your location. They track pretty much. They are the big brother. And why, how they do it? It's very simple. You can actually sign up for a service for your own website called hotjar.com. You can see how Facebook actually tracks everything. As we can see here, it's called a heat map and Facebook sees where you actually, what you're watching, where you stop, where you scroll. Actually, it sees your mouse. You see, like it sees how you move your mouse around the screen. That's why it's so, so powerful. That's why Facebook is so powerful. And by installing the pixel on our website, we're going to tell Facebook, Hey, Facebook, these are the people who have landed on my website. Please go and find similar people to the ones that we already have on the website. And if you don't have any people on your website yet, don't worry. When you start running some ads, you're going to start getting traffic and the pixel will start improving itself. So the next thing you need to do is click con continue with the pixel setup right here. Click that and go with the Facebook pixel manually, or you don't need a conversion API right now. So click uh, Facebook pixel, click continue, and you can use the partner integration. If you're using like um, CRM, for example, if you're using Kajabi or Squarespace or WordPress, either one of these, you can just click and connect it and the connection will happen automatically, but I don't use any of these. So I'm going to click install manually because I use a page builder tool and I also use a HTML landing pages. So I'm going to click manually add the pixel code to your website. So I'm going to click that and I'm going to copy the pixel right here. Now, the next step is to install the pixel on all of your landing pages. And for example, I have one of my landing page right here. So this is what you're going to see if you're using HTML landing pages, but what you need to do, you see the head tags right here. Let me zoom in a little bit. So this is a head tag. This is a closing head tag. So what you need to do, 
you need to install the pixel just right before the closing head tag, this one. So what I usually do is I click somewhere over here with the cursor uh, in front of the head tag. I hit enter a couple of times just like that. And then I put my cursor here just before the closing head tag and I click paste the pixel. There we go. This is the Facebook pixel. It says page views right here. This is the number. This is the pixel ID. Now you need to install this pixel on each and every page, but on your thank you page, let's say when people purchase the product and then they land on a thank you page that says, thank you for your purchase. Your shipping is on the way or something like that, or thank you for your purchase. Uh, we have sent all the details on your e in your email. What you need to do, you still need this pixel, but also you need another tracking parameter, which is purchase, because this is what is going to feed Facebook with data because Facebook will know, ah, this person has have purchased. So I'm going to try to find more people similar to the one who have purchased on this website. For example, let's say the, pe the person who have purchased is interested in workout equipment. So Facebook will not only go and try to find other people who are interested in workout equipment, but people who have also purchased workout equipment. So it's actually going to try to find you buyers, which is important. So what we need to do, so copy this here, it's line 28 for me, for you is going to be different. So let's copy this one called FBQ track page view. So copy this, put your cursor by the end of it, hit enter and paste it one more time. So I'm going to put it like here, just like that. And this time, let me zoom in so you can see this time we need to change the page view to purchase event. So how you do that? Just double click inside the word page view. I mean, it's two words, but together page view, double click and make sure to keep the quotations. You see, we have a single quote here on the left and single quote here on the right. Make sure you don't mess that up because this is important for your tracking. So let me double click and type capital one P U. This is going to be purchase purchase P U R C H A C S E. Make sure it's spelled correctly like that. So this pixel right here goes on your thank you page. And also if you're collecting leads, let's say when a person subscribes for, let's say your newsletter or uh, subscribe for a free PDF giveaway or something like that for a lead magnet, then you need to change the purchase to lead. So again, you have to double click and just type lead with a capital L lead just like that. And this is what is going to again feed Facebook data about people who uh, have opted into your email list or have opted in to download your free lead magnet PDF book or whatever you're offering. Now let's go back to our ads manager. After you have installed everything here, after you have your pixel set up, what we need to do is go over to these dots on the left side, click business tools. And now what we want to do is just click ads manager. So now we want to walk in into our ads manager so we can start setting up our first advertising campaign. So this is what you're going to see an empty ad account. And of course you need a product or service to promote. So for today's example, I have one of my products, which is this one, the resistant bands. And you probably have seen it in my other videos, but uh, I use that a lot because it's a mainstream product. It's about workout and pretty much health and fitness. The niche is pretty big on uh, the internet nowadays. And here are some quick tips about landing pages. When you're promoting on Facebook, when you're spending money for people to visit your page, your landing page, your website, don't try to create many buttons, many distractions because you're paying for these people to come here and you don't want them to get distracted and not do the desired action. In my case, I have one desired action and this is for them to click the submitted time sales right here and buy my products for you might be the same might be to uh, sign up as a lead, etc. I have seen a lot of landing pages with a lot of buttons. Even as you can see, I don't have a menu here no menu, just a button, another button that actually redirects to the same thing when I click it. So make sure your landing page does not distract people. It's a very like uh, you state exactly what people need to do so they know they don't get distracted. And for example, my even my website, if you go to rasminchev.com, you're going to see that even my own website is pretty clean. I don't have any menus. I don't have any distractions. It's basically one page website landing page. So you can uh, see here, here's the deal. What about me? Who am I? I'm kind of lazy right here. You can see so etc. And th that's about it. 
uh, pretty clean design pretty clean no distractions so just this is just these are just quick tips about your landing pages by the way i have another video about landing pages and how to create a uh, high converting landing pages so if you want to watch it i'm going to list it down in the description below but for example we're going to be promoting this product the workout the, these are resistant bands and now we're going to go back to our ads manager now the first thing you need to do obviously is to hit this button right here create a campaign and here what we have is a bunch of objectives now if you're in business you're in business to sell a service to sell a product if you're not a big brand of course because if you're a big brand you need awareness you need your brand to be spread around the world let's say but if you're a small to medium business you need to focus on one thing profit 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 you need money in your business to keep the cash flow so from these objectives what you need to do is click only the conversions this is what is going to tell facebook hey facebook we're all about sales we need people to purchase our products we need people to sign up as a lead so this is the only objective you will need and this is the objective that i use a lot of course you have other objectives like traffic engagement video views this lead generation objective actually it's kind of okay because it asks ask, asks people to opt into your emails list right inside facebook usually i don't use it because i i create my own opt-in landing pages and again i use the conversion objectives you have brand awareness here basically here we have to tell facebook for what kind of objective it needs to optimize our campaigns that's why i told you we have to always go with conversions if we want to make sales or um, generate leads these are good traffic engagement but they're not going to help you make sales so let's click conversions right here and then what we need to do is click continue and here we have to name our campaign so i'm going to say workout workout bands or resistant bands so let's say workout bands just like that and then scroll down and we have something called campaign budget optimization what i usually do i split test two campaigns one running the campaign budget optimization and the one without so today i'm going to show you how to do one without the budget optimization which should be absolutely fine so just keep it turned off and click next so from here we need to name our ad set and i'm going to name it based on the interest we're going to target so leave that for now scroll down where it says conversion event we need our website of course then we need the conversion event and the conversion event in our case we want purchases we want people to purchase our resistant bands so click this box and scroll down and find where it says purchase so this is the purchase event there we go and if you remember i have the purchase event installed on my thank you page so here i have to change this to purchase just like that and when people purchase my resistant bands they're going to land the, on the thank you page and the pixel will be fired once you do that scroll down and here is what we're going to see the next section is dynamic creative uh, i use the dynamic creatives a lot but this is kind of a more advanced stuff so we're going to skip it for today but if you want to see how dynamic creatives work uh, let me know down in the comments below i can shoot another video because it's kind of a very broad uh, topic and it's going to take me a lot of time to explain the dynamic creative here the dynamic creatives how they work and how to set them up so the next thing is we need the budgeting usually what i do i start my ad sets so this is an ad set we start an ad set i start an ad set from 15 to 45 bucks in this case 20 is okay i can just start with just 15 dollars like that per ad set so you you can leave the end date i usually use the end date w once i start getting some data because when i start getting some data i can tell i can see when people are purchasing where is for example if people purchase early in the morning or people purchase at noon or maybe some people are purchasing at midnight so i know where i my people are purchasing then i'm what i usually do i click the end date right here and then i click show more options but again you don't need right now this one because you need data you need to spend money to get the data but after you have the data you can click show more options right here and it says add scheduling you see so we're going to actually have to give it an end date so let me give it an end date like that and the start date is in the past what is it so let's try this just like that okay i said i need the ad scheduling oh but it doesn't let me because oh yeah the daily budget so it only works with lifetime budget so let's go to lifetime budget like that so i'm telling facebook hey fa facebook i want to spend 350 bucks in the span of let's say a week or two weeks and then in the ad scheduling i'm going to click edit 
and I'm gonna click run ads on a schedule and see what happens again this is kind of a more advanced thing I'm showing you uh, just because just for your reference but if you want to see more advanced stuff about Facebook I'm gonna link another video down in the description below that I show more advanced targeting options on Facebook but here what I, what I can do is I can tell Facebook hey Facebook you know I've checked my data I see when people are purchasing and I see that the majority of my sales come from 9 a.m up until 3 p.m and then I don't have any sales up until 9 p.m until midnight so in these gaps usually Facebook will not run your ads and I can tell Facebook hey Facebook do it for all of the dates right here for the entire week every day run the ads only from 9 a.m to 3 p.m and then stop the ads and start them again from 9 p.m to midnight but again you need data to see when people are purchasing because in most of the cases Facebook will still run your ads in these time frames but you're going to be losing money and this is what was happening with me I was like when I wake up I see a lot of sales coming in to 3 p.m and I'm like whoa I'm profitable it's 100 percent 200 percent ROI and then from 3 p.m it starts dropping out so I was wondering wow what the hell is going on and this is what happened people are just not purchasing in these times again not fundamental for everybody you have to just check your data so for now click this unclick uncheck go with a daily budget just like that 15 bucks perfect no end date 15 bucks I said come on just like that and then scroll down to the audience now we come to something that one of the most important things the first thing is of course the custom audience but you don't have a custom audience yet you can create lookalike audiences which is again more of an advanced thing just skip this step and continue to the next one which is the location so let's take for example United States what I usually do even though I'm targeting United States and I'm my product as we can see right here is resistant bands and it's in English right I ship this to United States but in United States there are a lot of different communities a lot of different um, let's say different people from different parts of the world so not all of them are going to be speaking English so here see what it says here potential reach in United States without any interest targeting it says 230 million million people so what I usually do I scroll down and here where it says languages I say English O. so let's see if I just select remember we have 230 million people in United States but when I choose my languages I'm going to say English only or English O. this number should drop let's see 220 million people so 10 million people got excluded because not everybody speaks English even even though they're in United States so if they land on my landing page they can't read it they can't purchase the product so that's why I always select English O. now the next step which is the most important I mean all of the steps are important but this one is your actual targeting so the detailed targeting here what we can do you can start brainstorming about our product so my product is resistant bands um, no gyms no problem uh, workout equipment this is a workout equipment first then these are the resistant bands it's good for people who want to work out people who want to be healthy etc so the first thing I'm going to start typing in the detail targeting is of course workout bands to see if we have an actual targeting group of people who are interested in workout bands so let's try workout bands workout band okay we don't have any workout so let's try with resistant bands resistance band and there you have it we have the exact the exact interest so we have an exact match of our group so basically when I click this interest resistant band I will tell Facebook hey Facebook I, I have this product which is resistant bands can you find me people who are interested in this product and this is a perfect match also what you can do and usually sometimes I do it if you don't have an exact match of your uh, resistant bands so let's say I have a broader so let's say we don't have the resistant bands so let's say this interest does not exist on Facebook so what I usually do I layer my targeting and how do I layer my targeting I go one level up so what is above resistant bands it's workout what is above workout it's health and fitness right this is like a funnel so if I have to show you how it looks like so let me just go over here and I'm gonna show you so the main broad term is health and fitness this is very broad so this is health and fitness then we have a smaller one which is going to be people 
who are interested in workout. So health and fitness. Health and fitness can be yoga, can be jogging, etc. Then we have a smaller group who are interested in workout. Then we have another smaller group who is who are interested in workout equipment. You see how we're funneling them down. So how this is visual. I'm showing you visually how it looks like. So how you how we utilize that? Well, we go over to, oops, we go over to Facebook right here and in the detail targeting I'll start typing health and fitness. So let's say health fitness. Let's see if we have that. Health and fitness right here, but this is uh, uh, fitness and health. So health club, let's just try uh, fitness and wellness. There you go. One billion people are interested in fitness and wellness. Then what we need to do, we need to narrow this. We have the big audience right here. And in Facebook, we say, hey, Facebook, narrow the audience. So let's click narrow audience. And you see what it says? And must also match. So I'm going to tell Facebook, hey, Facebook, go and find these people who are interested in this broad niche, in this broad uh, topic. But these people also must match this rule. And this rule is going to be workout, workout, just like that. Let's try to see if we have workout, physical exercise, perfect. Okay, another term, I didn't see it. So physical exercise is very, it's getting closer. It's getting hotter, right? It's getting closer to what we have. It's not yoga, it's not jogging, it's physical exercise. So let's click that and see the audience size here on the right. Perfect, now we have much smaller audience and I can actually narrow the audience further, click narrow further so I can tell Facebook, hey Facebook, find me people interested in fitness and wellness, but these people must also match this rule. They need to be interested in physical exercise and also they must be interested in fitness equipment. Let's say, let's see if we have this term fitness equipment. And there we have it, exercise equipment right here. Perfect. You see now we have 30 million people, which is a pretty good audience. So again, if you don't find your term resistant bands, if Facebook doesn't have that audience, you can layer down from a big audience, fitness and wellness, then physical exercise and then exercise equipment. So we're funneling down people to the people who we actually need. And then what I, what I usually do, I start the campaign. You see where it says the detailed targeting expansion. I start one ad set with this and one ad set without this. So for this example, this tutorial, I'm going to uncheck this so we can see the audience should be way smaller. Yes. So now we have just 12 million people. As you saw from 1 billion people, we funneled them down. We layered our targeting and now we have much, much better audience to work with. 12 million people. This is a nice audience that I like to see when I'm setting up ads. Usually I don't like to run ads when the audience is below 1 million people. I always run 1 million and even 2 million and above. So 12 million is a perfect audience for Facebook to optimize and find us buyers. So now let's scroll down to the placements right here where it says placements. Usually I create another one ad set with automatic placements and one with manual placements. I recommend you to start with manual placements because there is something important here. I, I put automatic placements when I have data to work with. But when I don't have any data, when, I st when I'm starting from scratch, I usually do manual placements. And here is something that I always exclude. And this is the messenger. Basically, if you have Facebook Messenger, you know that Facebook sends you ads inside your messenger, your messenger app. So I use messenger only for remarketing and retargeting. So I usually always uh, deselect the messenger because think about it. This is how it goes. Messenger is a very private place. So in the messenger, you're chatting with your mom, your friends, etc. So it's a private place. And if, if I'm just a random guy on the internet and I send you an ad, it's like a spam. You're like, who the hell is that guy, right? So I always use the messenger for remarketing for people who have already visited my website. They know my brand. They know who, I, who am I. And then I say, okay, remarket to these guys. So they're much more likely to see my message in their messenger and not actually reject it or actually ignore it. So when you're getting started, unselect the messenger. The next step is right here when you scroll down, click show more options. And from here, what I recommend you do is click the edit button right here where it says specific mobile devices and operating systems. Click that and check this box only when connected to Wi-Fi. And why is that? So here is an example. Let's say people are on the bus 
and they see your ad they're riding the bus they're commuting to their work let's say and then they see your ad they're not going to pull out their credit card and buy your product on the bus right and uh, for example if they're like somewhere outside they're in the mountain they're like walking somewhere or people are bored in the club let's say um some people are bored in the club they're just scrolling the news feed on facebook and they see your ad they're not going to buy in the club 90 percent of the people who are outside let's say you're in the park with your friends and you're doing picnic and you, you're scrolling your facebook wall because you know you're bored or i don't know you're just scrolling your facebook wall you're not connected to wi-fi you see my ad you're not going to get your credit card and buy my product so select only when connected to wi-fi to make sure you present people who are actually in the office in their homes connected to their wi-fi's this is a very good tip by the way and then scroll down and this is more of an advanced stuff here the optimization and delivery so we're not going to cover it today but next step is to click oh by the way next step is have to go back to the top and we have to rename the ad set with our targeting so you see now the targeting is fitness physical exercise and exercise equipment so the ad set name is going to be us because this is my us dash fitness and then i'm going to put square brackets and i'm going to say layered audience just like that and then i'm gonna hit next so here is the place where you create your ad and uh, let's talk about the different creatives of your of your ad a lot of people you see on youtube they're talking about oh videos perform way better videos are the best videos are the holy grail of facebook but no <laughs> so image ads perform as good as video ads so most of my campaigns i do a lot of image ads and not video probably 80 percent of the campaigns 90 percent of my campaigns are image ads and they perform just as good as video ads so in this video tutorial we're going to cover on image ads so if you scroll down here and you're going to see the create an ad and it's already selected single image or video and scroll down a, a bit more and this is the place where going where we're going to be creating our ad so the first thing we see is the media we need to upload an image or a video and what i use to create my images my ads first of all i don't start from scratch i usually spy on other people's ads and i try to see what other people have and I try to improve it and make it better so I can outsmart them and I actually have a video on how to spy on other people's ads and I'm gonna link it down in the description below because it's going to take me a lot of time to explain now how to spy on other people's ads <laughs> so just watch the video below pause this one watch the one below so you can see how to spy on other people's ads come back here and after you have an idea of what other people are running on Facebook then we need to start creating our own image ad so let's go to my Google Chrome and for creating my ads I use Canva it's canva.com and from here you can sign up for a free account I'm gonna try to find the link uh, for a free account I think you can even Google it Canva free account but from here you can click create a design and then type in the search box Facebook ad just right here and it's already made with the right size so let's click this one so what we can do here here is the psychology try to outsmart first other people try to try to outsmart what other people have but also try to make your ad kind of a not so ordinary because people have seen a lot of stuff on Facebook so we need to outsmart everybody else and we need to drag attention to our ad because the more attention we drag to our ads the more clicks we're going to have and the less money we will pay to Facebook I mean the, 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 the CTR is going to be high and CTR stands for click-through ratio meaning when people see your ad how many people out of a hundred have clicked your ad for example if a hundred people see if hundred people see your ad and just 10 out of these hundred click your ad this is a 10% click-through ratio, which is pretty, pretty good. Usually the average click-through ratio on Facebook is from like one, two to five, six percent CTR. So if you have above six CTR, you're doing a great job your, with your ad creatives. So what I usually do, I, I use a lot of objectives and actually, <laughs> guys, I know I have another video on how to create high converting ads. I'm going to link it down in the description again. I know, but you see, it's a lot of, a lot of information. So I have created different kind of a videos, one for advanced targeting, ones for a pixel setup, ones for uh, 
uh, creating your Facebook ads, etc. So I highly recommend you watch it. I'm, again, I'm going to post it down in the description below. But the psychology here is we have to create the ad so it grabs people's attention. And what I figured, if I use, I can use, of course, I can use my resistant band. I can use image images from my website. I can use this image or maybe I can use even the image of the actual bands, which is OK. But what I use here, I go over to Canva, I click elements and I use something different. I use kind of a cartoonish sketch images because this is what not this is not something people see every day on Facebook and it's going to grab their attention. So what I do in elements, I type workout. Let's see. And as we can see, we have these figures. So workout and I can type workout bands just like that. Look at this. So I can just simply click that band right here, make it bigger. Put it right here and then I can say, you know what? Look at this lady. Perfect. I'm going to put it right here, make it a little bigger. So this is not something you see every day on Facebook, right? And then what we need to do, I'm going to put, let's see this lady right here, something like that over here and then make it a bit bigger. What I usually like to do is I change the background of this image to contrast with the Facebook background. So the Facebook background is kind of a gray here, right here. And I changed the background to something kind of a darkish. So let's try with black. Pretty good. So let me delete this lady because it doesn't match our background. So I'm going to put more resistant bands right here. Let's make this bigger. And then I'm going to make something. Oh, we have a, a gentleman here. So let's increase that like that. Or actually, I'm going to put him. Oh, you know what? I'm going to put him just like here and I'm going to move that. I'm going to spin it something like. Oh, yes. Just like that. Just like that. And then I'm going to click Control Command C to copy this image. And then I'm going to click Control Command V to paste it. So I have the same thing. I'm going to drag it down below. Actually, I'm going to put it right here. And what I do, I go over to text right here on the left side and I'm going to drag this text. I'm going to actually click on the text and there, there we go. This is the text. Instead of pull party, I'm going to shrink this text and I'm going to say uh, resistant, let's say resistant bands, just like that. Now, of course, you can be a lot. You can be smarter. You can be more creative, something like get free resistant bands or uh, work out at home, something like that. Work out at home is, uh, is actually pretty good. Uh, one thing to consider is that Facebook doesn't like a lot of text. So I can shrink that something like this. I can put it right here and then I can play with the background. But right now you see what we have. Look at that. We have a night nice catching ad that you don't see every day on Facebook. Do you pretty nice? Actually, I can increase this guy's size right here. Actually, when you see the guy on the back, you need you think he's further away. So what I want to do, this lady should be bigger, just like that. And this gentleman should be smaller because he's in the back. This is the psychology. Boom. There we go. Next step. We have a high attention grabbing creative already. So click download and download your ad. So click download here and save your image on your computer. Click save. Now, now that we have the actual creative with the sketch images, which is attention grabbing image. Let's go back to our ads manager and here in the media, click add media, add an image and upload. So here is my ad. Let's click that, click choose and then click next. And again, click next done. So there we go. You see how pretty good looking with this nice back black background is going to drag a lot of attention. The next step, we're going to be using a method that I called AIP method to create our text and our headlines and our description. And here is the AIP method that stands for attract, identify, provide. Now that we have already attracted their attention with the actual image, we need to attract them even more. We need to make them desire the product, make them feel, oh, I need this. So that's where this AIP method comes handy. We need to attract, we need to identify a solution or a problem and then we need to provide a solution or call to action if 
we have identified a problem or issue. So I'm going to show you how it works in just a second. Don't worry. Uh, but first, let's go back to our website. Copy my URL here. This is my URL. Go back to Facebook and in the website URL, just paste. Um, let me paste the URL of my website just like that. So we have the URL handy. And so the first thing is the primary text. And let's hop over to the AIP method. And now we need to attract them. The attraction can be one sentence or one paragraph. And here is how it looks like. So in the primary text, to attract their attention even more, I can just say no gym, question mark, because we're in a pandemic, right? We're under lockdown. So I can just say no gym, work, no problem. No problem. Something to grab their attention, no problem, like that. So I can just state that one and this can be my attraction. This is my attraction. But please don't use, do you something? Do you, do you go to the gym? Don't use personal attributes. Facebook hates to use personal attributes and is going to ban or reject your ads and going to ban your ad account. So that's my first um, sentence here. I'm going to use some emojis. So on my Macintosh, I can click and hold down control command and space and the emoji tab will open. If you don't have Macintosh, you can just go to Google right here and just type, um, emoji emojipedia it's called emojipedia there we go this one and you can copy whatever ads or whatever emojis you want from here you can search you can categorize some emojis you can find whatever you want so let's go back to my ad and i'm going to say no gym no problem and i'm going to search for an emoji that is related to fitness so let's try gym here okay we have this guy perfect i'm gonna double click Let's select this guy. Perfect. There we go. I have one emoji and actually don't overdo your ad with a lot of emojis because this is also going to get your account suspended. Trust me, I've been there because back in the day when you use a lot of emojis, this also drags people's attention, but Facebook nowadays doesn't like it. So if you start using one emoji, uh, two emojis, five, six, I mean, three, maximum three emojis. Don't use more than three emojis because you're going to get your account banned. So no gym, no problem. This is the first uh, sentence and this is going to be my attraction. So remember the attract. Now we need to identify. We need to identify a problem and then provide a solution. So to identify a problem, we I can simply say here, gyms, gyms are closed, but that doesn't stop people from being healthy. There you go, boom. This is my attraction. This is my identifier. You see, I attract them with, hey, gyms are closed, no problem. And they're like, no problem, what do you mean? I can't work out. And then they read the identifier, which is the second sentence, which is gyms are closed, but that doesn't stop people from being healthy. And they're like, hmm, how they're healthy. And then we come to the last thing, which is the provide. And we provide them with a solution. Well, they're being healthy because most of the folks who... Most of the folks are still working out at home. Thanks without actually let's, Oh, I, I think I, I got something pretty good. Most of the folks are, are still, still working out at home without, without the help of, without the help of heavy equipment. They just, they just use resistant resistance bands. Boom. And then I can say something more I can add. So this is my identifier. So I can put, this is a new paragraph, a new one. No gym, gyms are closed, blah, blah, blah. We can put these two together and then the provide. Most of the folks are still working out at home without the help of heavy equipment. They're just using resistant bands. And to show them how good the resistant bands are, we have to go to our landing page and see the weight uh, that the resistant bands are actually giving you. And we can see that uh, and up to 115 pounds a uh, resistant bands can apply to your body, which is pretty, pretty good. This is like almost the same as a bench press. So we can go over here to the ad and I can say without. So we can say most of the folks are still working out at home without the help of heavy equipment. They're just, uh, they are just using, using resistance bands, comma, that can apply, the resistance bands can apply up to 112 pounds of weight to your to the muscles to the body to the body 
to not don't say to your body i told you don't use personal attributes if you say to your body it might not be good for facebook there we go and then i can say here i can say tap the image below to get yours or click the link to get yours so i can say click here to get yours then column and then i'm gonna say uh, the finger because i like another emoji to point to the actual url so i'm gonna click finger right here there we go then i'm gonna close this click here to get yours and i'm going to paste again the url because it's a very good idea always to have the url on two places one down here and one here in the description so i'm gonna paste that and there we go and this is on the here how our ad is looking so far i think it's pretty pretty good now what we need to do is put a headline after we have created our copy on our on our ad we need to create a headline and simply for the headline i can say no gym again no gym question mark get resistance bands there we go bands get resistant bands boom there we go no gym get resistant bands and in my title in my headline i can also say and I can put another emoji, but this one is going to be something like fire. I mean, don't use fire actually, because fire might get your ad account disabled. So I can just select something like a rocket. So let's do the rocket. Cause when you use fire, it seems it's like it's exclusive and Facebook doesn't like that. For the description down here below, this is a description for your link. It's going to appear right here. So what we need to do, what we can do, sometimes I uh, leave it empty sometimes i put something like get your workout at home or do your workout at home or something like that related this one does not matter at all i mean it's not very what matters is this one the primary text and like i told you the primary text we use the aip method to convert people into clicks and then on our website into sales so i can click workout like that and we should be ready to go so let's scroll down and yeah this is view more variations of your ad so let's see how our, our ad is going to look like check this out i think it's pretty bloody gangsta and even on the black background you see it looks pretty good because it matches the background so uh this is actually a pro tip i usually create backgrounds with either super distinguished from the background or it actually matches the background and you can see this on my youtube some of the thumbnails of my videos are white like the youtube uh, uh dashboard not the dashboard but youtube when you go to youtube.com it's all white so you can see some of my videos are all white on youtube so same strategy here with facebook but as we can see it looks pretty good so i'm gonna close this and i'm going to hit publish um, so this is what the last step you need to do click publish and your ad is going to be uh, under review and hopefully it's going to be active in a couple of uh, hours so that's how i create my uh, my facebook ads folks of course there is a lot more to cover facebook ads are very broad very vast topic there are so many things that we can talk about let me know if you like this video but also tell me in the comments what else do you want to like uh, do you want to see what else do you want me to show you and i'm gonna try to make another video uh, showing whatever you want uh, thanks for watching and i'll see you next time